Now, well, we're also talking about shunts in this section. Well, what did I draw a minute ago about that coil? I showed the coil when I said if you open and close the switch. When you do that, you close the switch, and you know you get 24 volts when you open it and it spikes up and loops down like that. That's inductive kick. Well, the same thing happens inside the windings. The other day, he's not in here. Uh, no, maybe it was Dan. Yeah, Dan was on the phone, and he says, man, this customer's getting back EMF, and he's getting over voltage only when he goes down, not when he goes up. Okay, he's got a vertical application. Motor goes up, motor goes down. He kept getting an over voltage trip going down. Why? Hmm? Okay. But he was getting an over voltage trip in excess of the supply voltage, and the load was going down, and gravity's pulling him down. So how is he getting over voltage? Think about what happens when it goes down. Turn okay? the generator. You're trying to go down, and what happens is that the motor starts falling faster. And then you go, oh shoot, it's going too fast. I'm going to give it a current surge to go back from falling too quickly. You know what it's doing? It's turning on power for a brief second, and then it's opening the switch. Every time it opens the switch to turn off power, the voltage gets charged, pumped up higher and higher. Because it's not trying hard. It only turns on for a second just to slow it down. And then it says, oh, I'm going to let it fall again. Boom, it opens the switch, voltage goes way up again. Now, I'll tell you something. There is a rule of thumb that says voltage or back EMF is proportional to, to speed. Okay, the voltage is proportional to speed and back EMF. Well, yeah, it's proportional to, but it's not equal to. Okay, because if that were the case, when you open the switch on this coil, it would just drop to zero. The worst it would do is stay at 24. It would not go beyond 24. Okay? But in fact, a small relay coil can go to 1,000 volts. Well, it's not spinning fast. Okay? This motor could be spinning extremely slow. And I think when Dan was talking to these guys, they said they weren't going that fast at all. And yet his voltage was going well above its voltage constant for the motor. Okay? That's because back EMF is proportional to speed, but it's equal to the second derivative of speed, to jerk, the rate of change of acceleration. And rate of change of acceleration is how fast the magnetic flux changes. And every time you turn off the, sh the switch, it changes instantaneously. That's the reason back EMF can skyrocket, even if you're not spinning fast. Okay? A bad misconception is, well, it's only spinning 200 RPM. Where did all this extra voltage come from? Because it's turning off, not because it's turning on. It's when it turns off you get the spike. When it turns on, you dissipate the spike. 